next time when you plan to tra travel to Singapore, you may not have to worry about buying foreign currency. That is what will be happening. Welcome to Stock Market Institute Market Wrap Up. This is Kishore here. The markets had a more or less flat day today. I would say it as flat because Sensex went up by 69 points and the same close at 58,247. No much of things happened there. Nifty went up by 24 points and the same close at 17,380. Mid and the small caps were the worst which outperformed the markets. Otherwise, remaining all were more or less flat. Bharat Biotech, who is manufacturer of Covaxin, is excited that they would get the WHO approval for their vaccination by this week. But all these months they have been waiting and nothing actually has happened. But other than them, any other vaccination that has been approved in India has already been approved by WHO. I don't know why they took such a long time and uh, it's been prolonged one. But however, it's a good news if this happens. So people who have been taking this vaccination will at least get some mileage outside India when you are traveling. Uh, Intuit confirms that they are buying of MailChimp and the deal would be valued at almost 12 billion dollars. And yes, this would help Intuit to get into small business growth and they would disrupt the market because uh, small businesses would look at a cost effective way for mails and other things and MailChimp is in that particular space. And with this Intuit would get into small business space, which is actually a very lucrative one because of a lot of startups and other things that's happening across the world. Apart from this, uh, Snapdeal, one of the investors looks at exit, wherein they say that they would get somewhere almost 30 to 50 million dollars. Again, the upper limit that they have kept is almost 50 million dollars. But however, let's wait and see whether they would get that valuation. But how, because of the IPO, the IPO would be, would be valued at almost 2.2 to 2.5 billion dollars is what the circular says and they already have Bank of America as well as Axis Bank and JM Financials as their investment bankers who would be helping them out to come out with IPO. The IPO would happen sometime this year end or next year starting. As I told you, uh, next time when you are traveling to Singapore, you may not have to worry about foreign exchange because Pay now, which is again a Singapore based uh, payment system and the UPI which is Indian based payment system is looking at integration wherein if this happens next time if you are traveling you don't have to worry about it you can use your mobile and make the payments wherever you are in Singapore likewise UAE and other places is where government is already working on the project and if this happens probably you just have to carry your mobile wherever you go and the world is at your tip of finger. Uh, this would give a lot of um, value to a lot of travelers and foreign exchange as a business. Uh, Sansera Engineering, whose IPO has just started today, has got subscribed 20%, and the same is priced at almost 734 rupees to 744 rupees. And just yesterday, they raised almost 382 crores from Anchor Investor. So these days, Anchor Investors are coming in on the last day or last but one day and putting a lot of money because of which the IPO size is getting reduced. Same thing has happened with them also. So the IPO size has reduced compared to whatever they were supposed to give earlier. And this is what is the news. However, let's wait and see whether it will do good. But automobile sector as such, because of the electric vehicles coming in and other things, is a lucrative one and they being component supplier, I think it's a good bet to think about them. The top gainer for the day is Indusind Bank which went up by 4.04% and the same closed at 1036 rupees 60 paise. Top loser for the day is HDFC which went down by 1.11% and the same closed at 2818 rupees 5 paise. Gold has gone down by 87 rupees for every 10 grams and the same is right now trading at 46,821 rupees. Silver has gone down by 374 rupees and the same is right now trading at 62,925 rupees. USD has gone down by 3 paise and the same is right now trading at 74 rupee 1 paise. Euro has gone up by 15 paise and the same is right now trading at 87 rupee 41 paise. There is no change in petrol and diesel prices but crude as such has gone up by 45 rupees and the same is right now trading at 5224 rupees for every contract. The technical charts do not give us clear indication whether the market will go up tomorrow or no. It's only based upon the global queues at the same time profit booking. If people think that market could go down from now on, people may start selling or if things go the other way around, they'll start buying and market may hit record high. Let's wait and watch what will happen in the markets. 
but it's very important for us to take care of ourselves get yourself vaccinated and be safe take care see ya